it's a very dreary, rainy, stormy day outside. Now, now outside, now the uh, the wind has uh, died down, but uh, yeah, it's not the best. I'm do on such a dreary day. Well, I'm in the garage again, and there's a package. And again, I'm not going to bore. I'm not going to bore you with the unboxing, but I'll show you what's inside. It's actually a new system, um, an addition to a system that I already own or a replacement, I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah, it's a very nice system and uh, yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, oh, yeah, and of course the S Spectra video system, uh, some videos uh, will be up on that system in the near future, but for now, that system, okay. The French dude uh, who sent it to me did an awesome job. Uh, this was actually on top. And, uh, nice bubble wrap and a nice black box inside of a box and cushioned with newspaper. So yeah, this is going to survive a six feet drop. This is how you should package a package. Yes, now I'm actually beginning to doubt yeah, it's, my address is on there, but this is like uh, um, a box uh, used to carry, I don't know, equipment in and stuff. So uh, it's actually quite a neat storage box. So, uh, yeah. You can put it on its end. And uh, so perhaps there's brick in there, bricks in there. Oh, wow, we'll be able to tell. Okay. Opening uh, up the box reveals uh, some more newspaper and bubble wrap. This is really packaged well. I mean, this is an amazing package job. And uh, I got a nice plastic uh, case as well. So, uh, yeah, let's dig in and see whether or not some people may actually be able to spot some familiar features. It's a bit of a tease. Right, it's time to tell you, this is actually the power brick. RF, my, uh, and a game cartridge. And a pretty mint, pretty mint looking uh, VIC-20. And the only thing that is actually uh, wrong with it is a very small mark over here. It's hardly yellowed and it has a different power plug uh, than uh, my other VIC-20 which has a power plug that is similar to the uh, Commodore 64. It has a bit of a different power switch. So this is actually the VIC-20 and let me see if this was made in Germany. So this is the German Volks computer PAL unit and uh, I have a, a later model which has uh, substantially yellowed and uh, it is missing the label and uh, well this is a very nice uh, very nice uh, replacement machine or uh, how do you say that backup machine or whatever and I'm actually dying to try that out so let me actually hook it up in this video and show you some of the uh, some of the gameplay so, I hooked up the system, and it's showing the basic. Your little basic program I wrote, uh, poking in random colors and stating lactobacillus was here. And as you can see, it <laughs> causes a bit of uh, issues. Well, let's put in the star battle cart and hook up that joystick and see how it plays. Well, turns out the VIC has a bad IC. If you, uh, I mean, typing in the program worked okay, but if you uh, connect uh, a joystick or use the game a cartridge that actually works, uh, the key inputs and the joystick inputs are read wrong. So I guess the CIA is uh, malfunctioning, which is a bad thing, uh, but I'm going to replace that and I have a cosmetically good working uh, VIC-20 so uh, yeah there is a bit of time between the last video and me recording this with a nice uh, cup of herbal tea 
because um, yeah, there was a bit of uh, how do you say unhappy feelings, but uh, oh well, that's the chances uh, you take when buying stuff off eBay. And uh, Mr. Starbucks head knows what I'm talking about. So yeah, an eBay gamble, kinda. I mean, yeah, I, I guess you know I, what I think is that the guy turned on the, the Vic 20. It gave sound, gave, it gives an image. The keyboard seems to work. Uh, the cartridge, if you plug it in, it's uh, it's uh, Galaxian's uh, or Galaga uh, port. It it functions, but he didn't check to play it. Because if you do, then you notice that the spaceship moves to one side and just, you know, so the keys aren't registered correctly and um, in the game. And a joystick doesn't work either. So no extensive testing and it actually is a French uh, gaming web shop that I sometimes buy stuff off. But uh, yeah, that just goes to show that they're pretty unaware of these older uh, machines um, seemingly functioning properly but then uh, with minor faults in the chip and Commodore's, uh, Commodore 64's and Big 20's they suffer from that you know the bad CIA chip so uh, yeah it's a matter of getting a replacement and just you know soldering it or desoldering it and soldering in a new one even perhaps with a Sakura chip uh, so it's not a biggie. I got it very cheap, but uh, but still, and I chose not to bother the, the dude with it. He's just, I mean, this web shop is just on my on my list of shops that are, what do you say? Well, they're good for some parts, but if you want to buy a machine, you're better off uh, buying it somewhere else because they don't test the machines properly, and often there's nothing wrong with them. But this time there was so no happy video of me playing my multi card on it um, that's a video for another day so uh, yeah mark signing off and I'll be back with another video soon